Hello guys, this is Chuchung from the Tech Revolutionist and today we have the NVIDIA Jetson Xavier NX Developer Kit for review. We're just going to do a quick introduction and then uh, do an unboxing of this uh, developer kit to find out what are the different features that it has. So as you may understand, the Jetson series is not like your usual graphics card. This is actually made for developers who want to build applications and test it out directly on this board, right? So it's actually a single board computer. It's actually a full-fledged computer by itself. And it has got accelerated uh, processes to run AI applications. So it's actually much faster than what you would expect in this previous uh, Little Brothers, which is the Jetson Nano, as well as the Jetson TX2. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Okay, so the Jetson Xavier NX box comes with two compartments on the left and on the right. Uh, let's take a look. I've already opened this before, so you may see that it's not like a fresh unboxing. We have the power brick. So the power brick that it's uh, provided is a 19 volts 3.42 amps. It runs at uh, 65 watts, 19 volt 3.42 amp. And it also provides us with the power cord. So depending on the locality, this may or may not fit. Uh, so uh, depending on where you get it, it will give you the correct cords. And if you realize that actually the Jetson Nano doesn't come with any power cords, but this time with the Jetson Xavier NX, they actually included the power cord directly on it. Next, uh, we can see that there is a quick start guide and a support guide. It tells you where to plug in all your mouse, your keyboard, your monitors, and the SD card, and all these items, as well as the different ports that's available, right? And so more information, warranty information. Pretty much things you wouldn't need to read. Actually, what I realized is that the Jetson Xavier NX is much smaller than I expected. I thought that uh, because it has so powerful, much more powerful than the Jetson Nano, which we have uh, reviewed previously, it would be a lot bigger. But in fact, it's actually not that much bigger. If you realize this is the first look, uh, the, the card itself, the actual GPU and the processor, as well as all the different hardware and accelerators, is just on this single little card that is cooled by this fan. So to give you a closer look, it is in fact just this piece. This piece is what uh, powers up the whole system. The rest of the devices, which most likely we'll call them a um, daughter boards, all these items, are just connecting directly to the main uh, board over here. Right? So they just provide the peripherals or all the connectivity uh, as what you will expect from a developer kit. It makes it a lot easier to plug in things, plug your camera in on it, uh, to develop. Right? So if you take a closer look, uh, this is the I.O. ports that's available. First we have the DC uh, jack in. So you can actually put the from the power adapter that's provided and plug it in directly here. Uh, we have a display port as well as a HDMI port. Then there are four USB 3.1 ports. We confirm that these are actually USB 3.1. We have so have a Ethernet gigabit Ethernet port. Okay. The main thing about this is even though it's wired, right? There's actually a built-in Wi-Fi module which we'll get to it in the uh, in a while. And there's also a micro B, micro USB. Okay. As I mentioned just now, uh, we actually has built-in uh, Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth. So this is actually the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card that connects directly to the two antennas right over here. Right? So if you are afraid that oh maybe the wireless signal not as strong, uh there are actually two antennas here directly attached to this plastic casing. Uh okay. So on the right hand side here we have more ports. Right, these are your standard GPIO. And on the other side, there is actually two camera interfaces. These are based on what they call the MIPI camera interface. Okay. Uh, but if you realize, is that all the different pins that I have? Actually, no, because at the side, in side mounted, there are actually more pins over here. So what we're going to do is to remove the top module, which is the main processor. Okay. And this is the main board. It's like a Laptop memory, right? It just pops out right over here. And you have to remove this fan header right here first. And then it should work well. Yeah, this is actually the what you expect if you were to deploy it to on the actual applications. So even here at the C, you can see that it comes with a 
micro SD card slot so you can actually run your OS directly you can put your OS in and run the whole application directly from here and at the bottom uh, pretty much more components actually there's actually a USB 3.1 controller here it's actually a Realtek chip and we have more I.O. pins wait a minute okay the power button the ground facial recognition FC rec not sure what's that we have ground system reset ground uh, auto on display uh, UART transfer UART receive and two more LED so one of the things I forgot to talk about is that this uh, develop kit also comes with an M.2 slot so you can actually include your uh, M.2 NVMe SSDs in directly so it supports NVMe uh, to communicate as a storage device to the main uh, Jetson Xavier NX board so now let's take a look at the specifications of the NVIDIA Jetson Xavier NX developer kit uh, for a start, uh, this board actually runs in two different power modes. It can either be in a 10 watt, is which, which is a efficiency mode, or a 15 watts. That's the max performance uh, mode. Uh, for the GPU, it runs on the NVIDIA Volta uh, architecture. It has actually 384 NVIDIA CUDA cores with 48 tensor cores. And for the CPU, it is a 6 core NVIDIA Carmel ARM V8.2 64 bit CPU. Uh, with 6 megabyte of L2 cache and 4 megabytes of uh, L3 cache. And for DLA, there's actually two NVDOA engines. Uh, this whole board actually comes with 8 gigabytes of 128 uh, bit uh, LPDDR4X at uh, 51.2 gigabytes per second. Uh, the storage, as mentioned, is a micro SD card. And physically, this whole board is actually. Uh, 103 mm by 90.5 mm by 31 mm. The Jetson Xavier NX is currently now available at 399 US dollars at nvidia.com, uh, as well as all the channel partners worldwide. So this is the first look of the Nvidia Jetson Xavier NX developer kit. Uh, definitely something interesting and something we are very eager to try on uh, for our development projects. And that is a quick overview of this Singapore computer. This is Chi Chung from the Tech Revolutionist, and I hope you like this video. And I'm signing out.